Hey, John Pearlstone for the Eat Fitness Plan. And today we're going to go through a bunch of different exercises that you can do to work your entire body as part of the Eat Strength Circuit. Um, the most important thing to understand is that you want to do exercises that work all the different body parts and all the different muscle groups, which will also help in creating a metabolic window. And it's nice to have some variety and give you some things that you can progress to as you continue to improve your strength. So we're going to go through a number of different exercises. The next exercise would be intermediate to advanced, and it's called a Janda sit-up. And a Janda sit-up, there's two different ways to do it, but the concept is, and it really is a great development in ab work, and that is that by locking in your hamstrings and your legs, all the pressure, all the strength involved with doing a sit-up becomes focused on your stomach. So it takes a while to get used to them, but watch, here's how you do it. You have your basic bent leg form, but drive your heels into the ground. Before you start this sit-up, you're going to visualize your heels going back into the, just literally digging a trench into the ground. So they're not coming up at all. And then you're going to take your nose and your stomach and aim it at the ceiling. And you're going to come through into a sit-up. And it's just strictly going to be with your upper body only, your stomach only, no legs, but you're tightening your legs by driving those heels into the ground. Hamstrings become very tight, and that puts all the pressure on your stomach. It goes like this. Even one's hard. I notice I try to keep my elbows out. I'm thinking about nose, chin, and stomach all pointing to the ceiling. Heels before every rep, heels are driving in to force that pressure right to where I want it to go, to the midsection. That is not a beginner exercise. You could try it, and if your feet come up, it tells you you're just not ready yet. Um, if you want to make it harder, you can take your hands and cross them behind your head. If you can see that on the camera, I don't know. But you basically put cross your right hand, your left hand, and grab your shirt. Again, same concept. Heels drive in, stomach, nose, and chin all pointing to the ceiling. Heels drive in. Okay, another variation of that, which just works a little, it comes at the ab muscles from a little different angle. Same exercise, same exact rules, just straighten your legs. So that's when you want to work in to your strength workout as you become an intermediate and advanced level. And this exercise would be right in between, you know, a really good beginner and an intermediate level, and that would be what are called clams. And clams are really nothing more than leg lifts, but bringing your upper body up at the same time. And that puts all the work into your midsection, which is where we want it to be in this exercise. So you're going to extend your hands straight back, you're going to have your feet fully extended, legs fully extended, and you're simply going to come up make a V and meet in the middle. My hands are coming a little more forward, that's fine. I know it's working because I feel it all right in there. You know, and you could do some sets where you focus on bringing the legs a little higher and the arms a little shorter. A couple sets you can bring your legs lower and the hands further forward. In either case, you want to feel the, the work all going right in your midsection. You don't want to throw your arms or rock your legs up. And that is a great exercise to build in your strength circuit. That's the clamp. Once again, it would be for a beginner who's pretty far along or somebody who's at the intermediate level, and that's oblique sit-ups. Oblique sit-ups, you're going to turn on your side. And, of course, they're working this section. Turn your side. Hand behind your head just for support. I'm sorry, wrong hand. Hand this hand behind the head for support. And then put your other hand right in your obliques so you can feel the work going on here. It really makes a difference. You're going to bring your feet, hopefully you can see this. You're going to bring your feet up off the ground. Your thigh, your lower thigh is still on the ground. Everything else is up in the air. And you're literally going to touch your elbow to the outer part of your foot. You're not actually going to be able to reach that part, but that's what you're aiming for. So you're going to come up, 
up, up, up. That'd be a set of five there. You're then going to roll over, get the same position, feet up, hands here, other hand on the obliques. You're making sure if you do a rep and you don't feel it squeezing, you'll adjust it for the next rep. Up, up, elbows aimed at that outer blade of the top foot. It works for me every time. That's an oblique sit-up. You get great results from those. I still do those every week. I recommend them highly to you as well. And that's legless. I lay back, put my hands underneath my butt, just for support. I don't you know, push up or anything like that. Head back, and then I'll bring my feet up together, my legs perfectly straight. And the idea is to make, a, don't let your legs come way in the air. I mean, that takes pressure off your lower stomach. Just a nice, small, tight circle. You know, visualize the circle and actually draw it. Draw the circle, it goes wide as you can to either side. But now let me show you the twists that I do to make sure I get maximum work throughout my midsection. And that is I'll do a circle, go as wide as I can, that's a circle. Then actually snap back the other way and start circle number two. Snap back, start circle number three. See what I mean? It's a little complicated, but it's worth it because you're going to be working your body. You're, you're going to get great focused work on your midsection during this exercise. So let me see if I can show you one more time. Do a full circle. Okay, that's done. Come back across. Now you got to go the other way. This allows you to trade every rep, and you can actually use your sides of your hip muscles and your lower abdomen to stop your momentum. So and I think that adds a ton to the exercise. If none of that made any sense, just do leg circles. You get it. But if you understand what I'm saying, you can throw it the other way and basically rotate opposite directions on each set that you do. Okay? That's leg circles. Um, next exercise that we're going to talk about is for your upper body. And it's plain old basic vanilla push-up. Lots of different little twists to it. But in its basic concept, it's a great upper body exercise. Works a couple different major muscle groups. Hands a little outside shoulder width. Body perfectly straight. Try to keep your butt in. Arch your back in a little bit. What I try to do is touch my chest, nose, and chin. Let me back up make sure you can see me. Chest, nose, and chin on each rep. So I'll come down. Back up, down, up. Okay? That's push-ups. If you're having trouble with that, knees on the ground, same exact points of contact. Can't get your chest on there, but you can get your chin and your nose. Okay? Really try to get low and feel that push through your shoulders and chest as you come back up. That's push-ups. Next exercise is another variation of push-ups that you can try that is more of an intermediate level. It's extremely challenging to do a lot of reps of them, but it works so many different body groups you're going to love it. It's called the dive bomber push-up. Here you're going to get in a push-up position, arms a little wider, feet a little wider, and butt in the air. And you're going to dive bomb down by taking your chest as close to the ground as you can and scooping it forward. Okay, then you can arch your back coming up, so it's a full range of motion. Now, focus on your core, your middle of your stomach, and use that to pull you back by dive bombing down to the original position. Set of five of these, you'll know you did some work. So that's an excellent one. You want to work your way up on that and try to progress to it. Dive bomber push-ups. 